in this video we will understand how to execute a c program execution of a c program involves the following four steps so first step that is creating the program or source code so your program is also called as the source code second step compiling the program third step linking the program fourth step executing the program so these are the four steps are involved to execute a c program so now first we'll understand the first step that is creating the program or source code so here the source code is a file with the c programming instructions in high level language so that is a c program written by the user so to create the source code we use any text editor to write the program instructions the instructions written in the source code must follow the c programming language rules so this will be saved with the extension called .c extension file now coming to the compiling the program compilation is the process of converting the high level language instruction into low level language instructions on receiving a source file the compiler first checks for the errors if there are any errors then compiler returns a list of errors if there are no errors then the source code is converted into the object code and stores it as a file with extension called .obj extension third step linking the program it is the linking the program with the functions that are needed from the c library object code generated by the compiler is given to the linker the linker combines both the object code and specified header file code and generates an executable file with extension code .exe fourth step the executing the program after completing the compilation successfully an executable file is created with the .exe extension the processor can understand this .exe file contained so that it can perform the task specified in the source file now let us understand the steps which we are going to execute the c programs in windows system so here i'll be using the compiler called turbo c compiler which is supported in the windows operating system so we'll understand the four steps by using the turbo c compiler so in this video you'll understand how to create the c program how to compile and how to run the program so let us start with the executing the c program yes so this is my turbo c compiler so as you can see this is the blue screen so this area is to edit the program or to create the program here so to edit the program to create the program so go to the file then new program select the new program then we need to write the program here in this area so we begin writing the program with the header files that is yash include studio.h then we continue writing the program as like this this is a simple program to add two numbers so i'm going to add the two numbers that is a 10 and 20 then i'm going to use the variable called c which stores the value of a plus b so in this program first we need to include the header files uh, the header file i'm using here is studio.h so studio.h indicates a standard input output so why i'm going to use this header file so i'm going to use the standard input output functions like printf and scanf so here i'm using the function called printf to print the value the result so i need to use the header file called studio.h then as we know that the c program always starts from the main function so I need to include the main function. So here I have included the void main. So here void indicates what the function does not return any value. If I include int main, then this function must return an integer value here. So here I don't want any uh, any value to be written from this function. So I'll use the void. Then I'll use uh, three variables a, b, c. So I'll assign a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 so here a contains the value 10 and b contains the value 
So dear. Then I'll perform the addition using the operator called plus. So plus operator which is used to add the two numbers here. So I'll add a plus b and store the result into what? That is variable c. So the result is stored into the variable called c. So hence I need to print that value as what? Addition is equal to percentage d. So percentage d which is a format specifier which is used to, to print or to read the integer values. So here I'll I'm you I am going to uh, print the value of a C here. Then get ch function. So this is the function which is used to uh, get the character from the keyboard here. So this is the first step that is creating the program or a source code. So this is nothing but the source code or the program here. Then the next step is what a compilation. So as you can see there are many buttons over here as a file, edit, search, run, compile, debug, project, so on. So here what we need to concentrate on the compiling here. So click on this button. So I'll get as what? Compile. Or the shortcut is used as Alt F9. You click on this button or you use the shortcut key as Alt F9. So that it will compile the error here. So compilation is the process of converting the high level language. So this is my high level language. This program is nothing but the high level language. So process of converting the high level language instruction into the low level language. That is, so this program will be converted into the low level languages that is zeros and ones here. So this compiler will check the errors. The first step is to check the errors. So here what I am getting the error as what? I'll check. So function get ch should have a prototype here. So for that I'll use what another header file called ash, ash include conio.h. We will see if that error is removed. Yes, the error is removed. So another point we need to save this program with the extension called dot c here. So I'll save this program as a program one dot c. So this is uh, my .c extension file. So always remember that the C program must be saved into the .c. The last step is what? Run the program or the execute the program. Click on run, execute. I'll get the output as what? Addition is equal to 30. So this is what? Uh, creating the program, compiling the program and executing the program here. Thank you for watching this uh, video.